Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to check the newest electric screwdriver model from Xiaomi, the Wowstick 1P+. This model costs $20, so it's the cheapest out of the three models that Xiaomi released so far, and you might find it very useful, especially if you have to deal with lots of screws. So let's start by opening the box and see everything we're getting inside. Inside the box, we're getting three smaller boxes. The first one contains the screwdriver itself. It's operated by two AAA batteries, which are not included, so you'll have to provide your own ones. The second box contains all the bits, we're gonna get to it in a minute. We're also getting an instruction manual, which is all in Chinese, so it's not very useful unless you speak Chinese, so there you go. And the last box contains the tool bag, which will help you to store the wow stick when you're not using it. So this is just a simple bag, unlike the previous model where you got a box where you can store it along with the bits, now you only get in this bag and this is one of the reasons the product got a little bit cheaper. In order to put the batteries you have to unscrew this cap over here then you have to place them with the plus side facing the bottom, screw the top and you can see that now it's going to work pressing the top part is going to rotate to the left and if you press this side it's going to rotate to the right and one thing you can see from the start that this key is not well built and you can see it gets stuck I don't think it's intentional I tried to clean it but unfortunately it's stuck so take it into consideration that it might happen to yours as well the wall stick itself feels pretty solid in the hand the two AA batteries should last you for about 8 hours of usage time and it rotates at 150 rounds per minute which is more than the previous model which rotated at 100 rounds per minute besides the run per minute which got upgraded there are two more changes between the 1FS model first of all there are no LED lights and in the other version when you pressed this button you could see two LED lights coming from the sides and in addition the torque was reduced in the 1FS model the torque is 0.2 newton meter and on this model it's 0.12 newton meter so it got reduced by 40 percent which is a big difference the weight of the screwdriver including the batteries is about 67 grams its diameter is about 16 millimeters and its length is about 17.5 centimeters now let's go over the bits we're getting the bits come pre-organized in these three tubes it's separated into three groups so you can see, for example, this is group 1 and on the tube itself we can see the type of bits we're getting. On each tube we're getting 6 bits. So this is number 2. You can see these are the star shaped bits. And on number 3 we're getting this type of bits. All the bits are the standard 28 by 4 millimeters bits and you can see the type of the bit engraved on its side. So now let's give the wow stick a try. In order to release the screw, you will have to press the top part of this key. And you can see that it just won't work because this electric screwdriver is just not powerful enough and you will have to use it manually, give it a little few rotations and then it will be able to release it. Same goes when you want to tighten the screw. It will go almost 90% and then you will need to manually secure the screw. Luckily enough, we can use this screwdriver also manually and according to the specification, when you use it manually, the torque can be up to 3 Nm. Now, by the way, most of the bits that you're going to get are not going to be compatible with the screws on the quadcopters, so you'll have to purchase more bits separately or maybe you have spare ones. I really wish that they included a 5mm adapter. I use this tool all the time and I'm really happy with it but this end has five millimeters and it's also interchangeable you can see i can store four more options over here and this tool was extremely useful i will also put a link to it on the description and you can see that it doesn't take a long time to unscrew these screws but if i'm using the wow stick which this star and this is one of the smallest ones will open these screws. It's not 100% compatible, but it will still work. And you can see that after manually opening it for maybe one round, you can see that it's working quite well. And it will save you some time when changing the propellers and it's also magnetic, which is good. And when you want to put it back, you will still need to give it one manual twist, maybe even less. It actually worked pretty well with these screws, but these ends are not 100% compatible. And on the long term, it's better to use other bits because using incompatible bits is going to wear down your screws. 
Overall, I think that if you're working with electronics and you have to deal with lots of screws, you will find the Xiaomi Wall Stick very useful. However, I would spend the extra $10 and go with the 1FS version, which will give you a higher torque and will also provide you with a case that will enable you to store all the equipment. For other users, especially who deal with quadcopters like me, I recommend to go with this tool. I've been using it for about three months and I'm very happy with it. It also has this compartment on the top to store these extra bits and I think that you will really like it and you should give it a try. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about the Xiaomi Wow Stick, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.